What's up, YouTube? This is Bajess Level Six here. Um, this is gonna be about uh my TNA Lockdown review. I uh, TNA Lockdown this year was pretty good. I liked it. Um, especially I liked the last match, Fortune versus Immortal, Immortal, and that match was pretty awesome because because of the Lethal Lockdown, and that was the only match that had a Lethal Lockdown. And I think they only have one a year in that one. But I think they have more. And um, let me start off with Mickey James and Madison Rain. That match was pretty good. I was not that good. Um, Mickey James just beat her really quickly, but that's okay. Uh, Mickey James, uh, she won the TNA Knockouts Championship, and she was the first ever uh, knockout and diva to to win a. Uh, and every single brand of uh, la uh, like a uh, ladies championship, that and she but she won in the WWE. She won the WWE Divas Championship and the Women's Championship, and now in TNA she won the Knockouts Championship. And um, I think she was in. I think she was she was in some other kind of show, but I, I think she had won it too. And let's uh, move on to the next one. Ink Ink. Versus British Invasion versus Scott Steiner and Chrisman, Chrisman, Crimson versus Eric Young and Orlando Jordan. That match was pretty good. Eric Young, um, he's kind of dumb. He tried to uh, climb the cage. He got out, but it was not that kind of match. He had, they had to pin the person, and Ink Ink won. And the next match was um, it was an X Division Escape. Match. It was um Max Buck versus Chris Sabin versus Robbie E versus Jeremy Buck versus Amazing Red versus Brian Kendrick and ver versus Suicide. Eventually, Max Buck, the dumbass, won. Um, he, his, they, him and his uh, or a uh, smaller brother have been fighting since uh last the uh, last pay per view. Uh, this is more of the next one, the blueprint, Matt Morgan versus uh, Hernandez. Eventually, Matt Morgan won. It was a pretty good match. I liked it. And, um, the next match was, personally, I think, was, like, a really good match. Kurt Angle versus uh, Jeff Jarrett. It was, it was a two out of three falls. Um, I think the first fall was... Submission. The second fall was um, pinfall, and the third fall, if necessary, was escaping the cage. Um, Kurt Angle won the first uh, fall by the ankle lock, and then <coughs> sorry guys, and then um, Jeff Jarrett won the second by pinfall, and then in the third one, um, Kurt Angle was about to win, but he almost got out. He just had one step to go. But, uh, he just, Kurt Angle decided he wanted to inflict more pain on Jeff Jarrett, so, uh, so, so then he did, but, uh, that was a bad choice because he lost, because, because of Cameron Jarrett, the, uh, the whore, <laughs> I, sh I think she is a whore, uh, because, because, um, because, uh, what do you call that, uh, Cameron Jarrett came out, uh, the Kurt Angle was, like, mostly about to escape, and then Kurt, uh, to have, uh, Kevin Jared got the steel door and like threw on Kurt Angle's head, and so then um, Jeff Jared won eventually, which sucks because I really like Kurt Angle because he's a pretty good the guy. And the next match is Sting versus the world, the Sting, the world heavyweight champion versus Mr. Anderson or Mr. Kennedy uh, versus Rob Van Dam. It was kind of uh, like a weird match because uh, they Rob Van Dam would um he wanted to know no I mean uh, Hulk Hogan it was an important match for him because he he wanted to know if uh, RVD would join Immortal but uh, and then Hulk Hogan came out with a steel pipe and he uh, eventually he never used it he was uh, RVD was not in Immortal and so then. Mr. Anderson decided to use a steel pipe and hit our, our RVD on the in the back, I think on the back of his head, 
and then um, I think he had a scor uh, scorpion drop, I think. Yeah, I think he yeah that, and then uh, <coughs> sorry, and eventually thing won, and um, the next match was the main event of Lethal Lockdown in a bloody uh, barricade, and out of the uh, control Lethal Lockdown Team Fortune uh, with beer money. Kazarian and Daniels, um, they defeated Immoral, and um, Ric Flair, Matt Hardy, and Abyss, uh, uh, Brother Ray were on Immortal's team, and in the end, after several, uh, several instant moves, it was a surprising return of AJ Styles, that, um, gave Fortune to win, AJ, AJ hit the ring, and, um, he, like, beat the hell out of Brother R Ray, I think. Yeah, and for injury, uh, and injured him, uh, and then Robert Rude then put Rip Flair in a arm arm bar and forced the Nature Boy to tap out as Fortune won the Lethal Lockdown main event. A victory, Fortune reunited, reunited, victorious, and a huge lockdown broadcast, which was pretty awesome because. Um, Brother Ray had uh, injured uh, AJ Styles, and like a couple uh, months, a couple weeks ago, the yeah, um, and I think that was a good win for Fortune. That was revenge, baby. Woo! And if you guys want to watch um, uh, TNA Lockdown, just I'll I'll put a a website on the bottom. And uh, you guys can watch it. It has the latest pay per views and I think um, TV, uh, I mean, like WWE and TNA shows. So uh, that's it, YouTube. Peace. Peace.